All right, my beautiful friends, it is Sunday morning, and it's just a beautiful day out here in Vegas, and I hope it's a beautiful day for you. Think of it this way. Every new day is like a rebirth. It's a renewal and another chance to turn it all around. It's the truth. Anyway, with that said, um, let, let's talk about this coming week beginning tomorrow because it's huge. And I'm going to tell you what has a 99% chance of happening this week and what we can expect. It's pretty straightforward. Now, why would I say a 99% chance? That's pretty big. I'm specifically referring to the Federal Reserve. This week, we're going to hear from the Federal Reserve, a two-day meeting. It starts on Tuesday. We get a monetary policy announcement on Wednesday. Now, many of you have been with me for a very long time, and uh, so you know what I'm about to tell you is true. All of these years since the Fed has been talking about monetary policy, what they're going to do, I have only been wrong once. My record is second to None. I don't know of another person, mainstream media or otherwise, who has called the Fed better than me. That's the truth. And it's not that I'm sitting here tooting my horn. We, we know what they're going to do before they do it. It's so simple to understand. Now, with that said, there's a lot of speculation about what the Fed is going to do. Well, we're going to cut through it right here. And right now, the Fed is going to do nothing. Nothing. Um, they're going to maintain the status quo. Not only are they going to maintain the status quo, but they're going to attempt to say whatever they need to do uh, to spark another rally here on Wall Street. Let's talk about Friday. This past Friday, we had a rally on Wall Street. Not a monumental one, but a rally nonetheless. What's playing into this, this rally here on Wall Street? It's pretty straightforward. And I explained to you, again, this is another one of those things, what they were going to do. They're starting to float out already um, how there's a fix in for the Boeing issue, some kind of a software glitch. We've heard that before too. Um, look, whatever really is happening with these Boeing planes, we're never going to know. What we can expect to happen is, again, stories like this floated out. The stock must be protected because if it's waiting in the Dow, all right, has a heavy weighting of the Dow Jones Industrial Lab without Boeing stock rising. It's going to be hard for the entire stock market to rise. And that's the goal. It is the only goal. With that said, um, again on Friday, Boeing put on just over one and a half percent. Um, and again, I'm not saying that we're going to vault higher with regard to Boeing on Monday, but the fix is in. More stories like this are going to be uh, floated out there. Uh, there's going to be an effort here made by the six banks that run the Fed to prop up the stock, period. If they can put a little fire under Boeing stock, and I think they're going to be successful, especially if they continue the narrative that there's a fix in, which is an admission that there's a problem, you understand. Wall Street doesn't care about that. Human life does not matter. What does matter is the price of the stock. I think a lot of effort's going to go into propping up stocks this week. Um, and again, the bigger picture here is, and don't lose sight of this, this is an election cycle. Every effort imaginable and things that you can't even imagine are going to be put forth to push stocks higher. If stocks are going higher, 
people get distracted by that. They people think the stock market is an indicator of what our economy is doing. Well, that's just not true whatsoever. It's absolutely disconnected from any kind of reality. It's part of the propaganda story. You all know that. Um, so with that said, the Fed here this week, I believe, and they're talking about it now. You have to understand, this is all being scripted. That's another thing, and I want you to understand this too. And I think most of you know this already. But when the Federal Reserve Chair um, takes questions, these are all scripted. Every single question is scripted there. The answers are known in advance. They, it's a show for the people to, again, be misled that these are all spontaneous. Absolutely not. The, especially in, with something like as important as the Fed chair um, cannot be made to look, he cannot be made to look like an imbecile. So questions are submitted in advance and accepted. If they're accepted, they're allowed to be put forth on the floor, an open floor before the audience, before the world. The Fed chair knows his answer in advance, what he's going to say. This is not real anymore. You know that. It has the, that, that aspect has been going on for, well, probably decades. Most people are completely unaware, but these are the facts. So anyway, in summary, huge week. It's all about the Fed, what the Fed's going to say. Now, I'll just briefly touch on uh, the China deal, China trade deal that we've been hearing about for months that got put off, but now there's a target on it. The target on it is what actually helped spark the rally on Friday. This is going to be the narrative that's going to have to be maintained. If if this is deviated from, if the strategy now that there's a target is deviated from, the market's not going to like it. So in, this is going to present an issue in a few weeks. Again, President Trump said three to four weeks. I think it was Friday. Friday. He said, okay, it's three to four weeks again. So now we have that target. Market likes it. Um, when we get to that three or four week point, they're going to have to do something. Either some kind of a deal is going to have to be put on the table. Or I don't know what they're going to do. I'll be honest with you. So um, with that said, again, you can expect the Fed to be more dovish here. More, you know, uh, talking about how they're going to support the market and it's no secret this is what they're going to do watch the bond market I cannot stress this enough to you on Friday the US 10 year yield dropped 2.59 the entire middle of the curve is inverted it's completely inverted um, so we have this is what the yield curve looks like it's kind of an interesting shape here <laughs> So, but but you can expect this to get worse. It's going to get worse here, and um, and the market doesn't care. And if, as a matter of fact, understand about. I know this is getting long, but just bear with me a little bit with regard to the yield curve inversion. We have a yield curve inversion now. Um, what we can expect is the long end of the curve, the 10-year and out further, to also continue to drop. What does that mean? Does that mean that when that happens, that's it? The house of cards goes up in smoke? Absolutely not. It does not mean that. It means that the clock will start ticking faster. But. There's a lag time here, and it can vary. We've seen this in the past. Several months to actually as long as two years. So keep your eye on this. And when yields get suppressed like this, again, understand the environment. Let me put another perspective on, on things in a little bit kind of a different way. If, you're, if you've been watching me this long in this video, I congratulate you, but bear with me here for a moment. 
When a newborn baby opens his or her eyes, do they really know what they're seeing in any way, shape, or form? They're, they're, they have no clue about their, of their environment. They're seeing colors, they're seeing shapes, they're seeing all, all kinds of a, a new world. So they have to learn to see. A, a, a newborn baby, once it opens his eyes, reaches for things that are way out of his or hers ability to grab it doesn't even understand or perception or depth you understand that so what we um, need to do here is retrain our minds to just be able to perceive what is being put in front of us in its true light you understand so I mean, there's a whole element to this here. It's 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 huge. It's tremendous here, and this is a lot of the stuff that uh, people just don't understand. It's hidden from them. It's kept secret, but it's it's so in our face. If you can open your mind a little bit, you can get a really really sharp picture of what is actually occurring around you. You can see things for what they actually are, and that's what we're doing here. It's pretty simple. Understanding the charade that's around us allows us to make the best decisions moving forward. Could you imagine what would actually happen if the people around us were actually able to see what is being shown to them in its true light? They can't do it. They're incapable of it. They've been put in a box. And this is why I always say you got to try to think outside that box. Once you do that, an entire new world will open up for you. It's the truth. All right, with that said, I know this is getting kind of deep. I'm going to let you go. Review this video. Think about what I discussed here. Let's see how this plays out this week. Looking very forward to it. And uh, anyway, again, I apologize for this video being so long, but I think I covered some interesting topics here. Maybe the end was the most enlightening. I don't know. I'd love to hear from you on it. And again, as usual, if I covered anything important here, uh, share this video. Let's get it out there. I love you. See you tomorrow.